Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to convert this character with animation to be as Unreal Engine character. So you can use this character in your game or in your movie. As we see this uh, Genesis character with animation. Okay. Even if you have uh, animation with the face, will be the same way. I cannot test uh, face animation because I don't have the iPhone. So it will be the same way. If you can export any animation with Daz character and send it to Blender, you can convert it. The character that sent from Daz Studio to Blender to become an engine character with all the animation uh, with bones or shape keys. Okay. And we when we apply the animation, we bake the animation. So we can get the animation in a blender. This is the how the uh, bridge tool work uh, from uh, Daz Studio Developer. I use the bridge tool, uh, Daz to Blender, and we select animation and select export morphs if we have morphs and accept. Okay. I install the add-on for the Blender. When you uh, install the add-on in uh, Daz Studio, you can go to Preferences and go in Add-ons and search for Daz Studio. And when you enable this add-on, you'll get this add-on disappear for you. And use this uh, button to import our character. Let's import our character. Okay. This is our character with animation. Yeah. Now let's use our tool, Magic Wand tool, to set up the scale and convert it to Unreal Engine. We select our character and set the armature for the character in your armature. And we use Das Genesis 8 uh, template and use Fill, so we get all bones fill for us automatically. Okay. Now let's set up the scale for the character. Okay, we see our character too small. Let's make the character or make a character as a scale of Unreal. We use only scale to make a feet of the character uh, touch the ground or the grid. Okay, now I think this is enough. Okay. We see now we get our animation with correct scale for an engine character. Okay. Now let's show you the new feature I added. This is feature I give us a root animation for the animation. As we see this character, uh, the animation for this character, the character move from the original of the character. And if we see this is, if we use this animation in Unreal Engine 5, in our game, uh, the character will be out of the capsule collision for the character. So we must use a uh, root motion to get a capsule move with the character. So in this tool, you can get a root motion for this animation. You can use a uh, root motion for rotation or any axis that you want. I'm not using a uh, rotation. I'm only using the uh, this axis. Uh, if you want to use uh, rotation, you can use it. If you have animation and you need to use a uh, curve from this animation in Unreal Engine, you can enable uh, rotation, so you can use curve in Unreal Engine. The character, I think it's move uh, in most axes. Okay. Let's enable align to root one because we need to uh, convert this armature to be as an engine armature, okay, and enable flip uh, hips because in, we see the flip uh, come from Daz Studio uh, flipped the hips are flipped, so we use this feature to get correct uh, root motion even if the flip uh, the hip are flipped. Okay, now let's uh, enable animation process. Okay. 
uh, even if we have a root, we see we have this uh, root bone, the tool will uh, rename this uh, root, uh, old root, and we uh, create a new root for the animation and the character. Okay, let's enable or create root motion. Okay, as we see, we get now a root bone for root animation. Okay. Now let's select our arc. We can select it from this uh, root bone. We select. We must select a uh, root bone in this section, so we can get a uh, root animation with any engine skeleton. Let's. Okay. We select. This is the old root, and this is our new root created by the tool. Okay. Now let's create a an engine skeleton. Okay. As you see now, we get uh, an engine skeleton with root motion for the animation. Okay. Uh, we see the shape are not very different. This is uh, just a shape from uh, the bones. And if we go to the edit mode, we see this is an uh, uh, Unreal Engine uh, skeleton. You can delete any bones that but necessary and uh, keep the Unreal Engine skeleton. Okay. Now we see this is as Unreal Engine skeleton. Now we can uh, export. Let's first export the animation. Okay, we select the only skeleton. First, we export the animation and export the character with the skeleton. It's a better way to get a uh, correct animation for Unreal Engine 5. Okay, let's select only the Unreal skeleton. If we see named root because now as Unreal Engine skeleton or armature. Let's export. Okay. We select object only and armature. And let's name it NM01 and export it. Now let's remove the animation and export only the character. Let's go to animation and to sheet and remove animation and reset all the position and rotation for bones in pose mode and in uh, object mode okay because this is uh, this is the blender will export it as default for the character this is uh, as default pose for for the character now let's select the character and the skeleton or the armature and export it Let's import our character. Okay. And select Unreal Skeleton, Unreal Engine 5 Skeleton, and import. Okay. We see our character as Unreal Engine character. Okay. Let's set up the character. Okay, now let's import our animation. I'll select animation and select Unreal Engine 5 skeleton. We see the animation working with the Unreal Engine 5 skeleton as we see without any problem. Let's review our character. We see our character with the same animation without any difference. Okay. Now let's replace. Let's delete this first. Okay. Let's replace our uh, default animal character with our character. Okay, and let's uh, make our, uh, in a montage for our animation. We see our animation. We have the character move. Let's enable root motion that we get it from the tool that we when we make uh, a bone for it for uh, root motion. We see if enable. We see we get root motion for the animation. Let's make 
and a montage from the animation. Okay. And make a symbol key to play this animation. X key. Okay. And play and then montage. We select the animation. Okay. We see our character does character working with Unreal Engine character, and we see even the icon working exactly as we see, and all the animation. And if we press X, we see our animation. As you see. Let's show you the, the capsule collider. We see we have this road motion with animation. And we can play our character as an engine character. Get the same animation without any difference. Okay. And we have this animation, this dance from Maximo website. Let's convert this to be as an engine uh, skeleton so we can get this animation to work with that. Uh, character. Let's select this uh, animation and set our skeleton and select maximum and hit full so we get all the bones full automatically for saving the time. Okay, if, if you have uh, not maximum animation and you make uh, your animation or you get animation from uh, somewhere else, you can fill the bones manually by hand or you can save the template for it. Okay, now let's set up the scale for the animation. Okay, we see the character is too small. Let's make the character or make the feet of this skeleton touch the ground or the grid. Okay, I think it's enough. Now we see the animation. Okay. Okay, now let's uh, uh, create a, a root motion at, because we see this is uh, the animation, the character move and most axis, we see. Okay, let's select, let's make the timeline for all the animation. I think it's enough. Okay. Let's select align to root and um, we have not flipped, so uh, we can enable it or leave it. It's working with the flipped and not flipped. Okay. Animation process and let's add root. Okay. We see the character with a uh, root. We see this is a very tiny bone. You see that root bone for the animation, as we see. Now we select our root bone. Let's select our root bone. Okay. Now let's make an engine character. And let's ensure we get this animation. Okay, we see the character has been converted or the skeleton converted to be as Unreal Engine skeleton with the root animation and all the animation working. As you see, it's Unreal Engine a skeleton with the root motion. Let's select this skeleton and export. Uh, the same way of selecting the uh, like the other. It's Choose this uh, settings and we make uh, an M2 
how to export. Now let's import our animation. We select LM2 and we select Unreal Engine Skeleton. Okay. Now if we play, we see our animation working with Dark's character exactly as you see. Let's play this. Let's make or let's uh, make this as an montage, but let's enable root motion for this animation. Enable root motion, okay? And make an montage, okay? Let's replace all the animation with M2. Now, let's play animation. We see. Even with the road motion and working without any problem. Okay, let's play the next again. 